Hello, what's happening? Well, we're going to put a class 20, digital class 20 backman, and we're going to show you the sidings test. Through all different types of points, I'm going to wind the lights up. There we go. Through all different types of points, all in some frog. Slide down a little bit, please, just a tad. Just a little bit faster and change direction. All insult frog points, all pico points. So you see seeing here, anybody tells you digital locomotives do not work over, over insult frog points. Well, you're seeing with your own eyes. And no, we do not have a Holy Bible in one hand and a Quran in the other, praying that this will run smooth because I have every confidence And you can see this is absolutely superb. Now Batman have just brought out some new class 20s. I've no experience of them. I don't even know if they have cab lights. But some of the later Batman locomotives, yes they have cab lights, which is wonderful. But the loco turns them off on its own when it starts moving. Now, Backman say this is realism. Well, no, it's not, because the driver turns off the cab lights in any locomotive and you are the driver. I know this because I've asked enough drivers driving on the main line. It is not realistic that the locomotive moves and the cab lights go off on their own. That is not correct. So whatever Backman are telling you is a load of rubbish. I was told by Backman customer service I needed educating. Okay. I may not be a train driver, but I'm capable of asking. What the customer service back person at Backman didn't seem to realise that cab lights also have the effect of sunlight going into the cab. And anybody who doesn't believe me can watch well my latest haul videos of Hawley Railway Station where you can see the sunlight going into the cab and I can see the driver's face. If these manufacturers want us to pay a lot of money, which they are now, 
which they say are to ship for shipping costs, which is fine, I get that, to a degree. Then they've got to make sure that the product they're selling us is realistic. It's no good charging us over £300 for a locomotive and it's not realistic. This is this locomotive here, it did not come with driving lights, it did not come with cab lights, it did not come with crew. However, I did not pay a lot for it and I factored into the cost the price of paying somebody to put them in for me. But the sound card on this, it, it really is absolutely superb. But you are seeing uncut sidings performance. Now these are radius 2 curve point set track. Now this is going into radius 3 and it's now going on to a radius 2 on the Pico set track point. I have had to clean the track in places because those that watch my model railway videos see that our fiddle yard is like a static yard. So being brutally honest with you, we had to do some cleaning. I think on one of these videos I've done, one of the locos got stuck because of dust. Dust will collect on your model railway, you cannot avoid it. Where you've got a point in one direction, the dust will settle in between. Now there is, what you can do, if, you, if you've got this situation before you reach for the cleaning materials, is just flick the point backwards and forwards, ten times, maybe, and you will find that it will clear the dust. Sometimes it doesn't, because when you've got oil drip off the locomotive, and in any room you've got a little bit of damp, I mean, this room is constant temperature. So if you're running a model railway in a loft, where you've got a change of temperature that can range as much as 40 degrees you are going to get dampness, you are going to get moisture you get this on your points and your dust it will set rock solid you will get it on points on the insole frogs wise pilgrims on social media will tell you it is your insole frog points when in fact, a simple bit of cleaning will solve the problem. Now you can see here their Pico surface mounted point motors. Now I use these because A, I've seen point motors on, in real life that are on the surface. But that is not the main reason, I'm going to be honest here. It's because I do not want to paddle under a board if I have a problem with a point motor. Here it's easy. Unscrew the screws, lift it off and change it. Saying that, we have not had one of these points fail. And some of them are over four years old. So as far as reliability is concerned, it's not been a problem. And that was perfect, didn't touch the buffer. And last but not least,
And to finish off, we're going to go out over the tightest part of the track. This loco has crossed about 20 install frog points, if you include going backwards and forwards over the same point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close C13. There you go. No power. No bus bars. You've heard one point. Open it again. And away we go. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed this sidings demonstration with the Class 20.